one thing I want to talk to you about. Uh, you had a long-standing relationship with the Boston Globe. What is your relationship with them today? I don't know. It's as simple as that. I do not know. And nobody has spoken to me about it. And uh, if they want me to write some more if they do, well, it's been wonderful. Uh, a wonderful soldier uh, over 50 years. And uh, I've got to meet an awful lot of great people because of the world and because uh, most people think about me, if they think about me at all, as tennis. And of course, I probably made my name in tennis. But I loved, my first beat was boxing, and I, I loved Muhammad Ali. I met him. I remember one time he said he caught me. I was at my typewriter somewhere room in a hotel lobby. And he looked down at me and he said, Collins, you do the writing and I'll do the fighting. And I thought that was <laughs> might be a good paragraph to open a book. Hey, that, that, that's not bad Bud, at all. You, you had talked about Tennis Channel a bit, and of course we haven't seen you on there for a while. Uh, what is your relationship with them? Are they ready to have you come back? Do you want to come back? Is there any time frame on that? I don't really know. Uh, I haven't had a conversation like that. What they are doing is preparing a documentary on me. And uh, when that will come out, I don't know, but we're going to do some filming in uh, Indian Wells. And uh, you know, there is something about, I did some sketches, they called Bud's Beat, did that for a couple of years, and I enjoyed doing that. That took about 60 minutes, uh, 60 seconds, I should say. and. Uh, try to give an interesting point, and that's okay with me. I'd, I'd like to still be in the business, but uh, we people who run the business may have different ideas. Well, let, let's hope not, because, uh, uh, Bud, if you never go into the broadcast booth again, and you never write for the Globe again, will that be, I don't want to say a regret, but will that be a letdown? Oh, I think so, sure. Yeah. Uh, I think that... Uh, I can still handle it, not the schedules I understand, or coast to coast, and uh, uh, off to Hawaii, or into Russia, or something like that. Uh, I've been very lucky in the traveling, but uh, I still think there's some usage in me. I, I, I would agree. Uh, Bud, I want to get your opinion on one current event. Uh, wrestling, not going to be in the 2020 Olympics. Uh, kind of shocking. What do you make of that? Well, I think it's a crime. Uh, and I'm not, I don't care much for wrestling, but the fact that it was one of the two original Olympic sports, and somehow somebody said they had, uh, they get some awful uh, things. They, uh, softball, I think, and golf, and things that you don't need. To me, the Olympics is uh, people doing things like throwing themselves about, and that's wrestling. And uh, I hope, I know the wrestling people are trying to fight it, but uh, it seems a little hopeless, and I think that's absolutely wrong. Yeah, a big, big uprising there, and, and I, I'm not sure if it'll hold up to 2020. 